also for our UN headquarters here. Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Let me first uh, ask my good friend, Your Excellency Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations. I know you told me not to use the word His Excellency, but I, I have to, on this occasion only. Your Excellency Madam Zainab Bangura, Director General of the United Nations Office in Nairobi and the Landlord. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is true that I asked Caro when I walked in and I, normally I'm used to small groups of civil society. <laughs> <clears throat> but today, this is uh, phenomenal. And uh, congratulations that we have a diverse body of civil society from all continents in Nairobi. On behalf of the government of people of Kenya, welcome. Um, Caro and Ms. Yusuf, I must say, have done an outstanding job. I must also commend my friend Mithika. Mithika is Kenyan, but I'm not responsible for his short speech. <laughs> in any case, I hope all of you have enjoyed your stay in our country, and I'm delighted to hear that your discussions have been encouraging and productive, which bodes well for our progress, prosperity, and the future of both the people of Kenya and all of us as global citizens. It is a privilege to participate in the conference on shaping a future of global and sustainable progress. The role of civil society organizations in shaping our future is crucial, and I commend the organizers for providing a platform for such vital conversations and discussions. Embracing democratic values such as inclusivity, accountability, and transparency is essential for any meaningful progress. Ladies and gentlemen, we convene at a pivotal moment. Our world confronts challenges ranging from climate change, inequality, and global health crisis to armed conflict and technological disruptions. These issues impede our pursuit of the 2030 Agenda. Yet, we also stand before a significant opportunity which coupled with advancement in technology and knowledge could lead us to a more prosperous future befitting all of us. Global challenges necessitate global responses. In an interconnected world, no nation can address these challenges in isolation and expect to succeed. The rise of networked, the rise of networked social movements has elevated them from grassroots gatherings to influential forces that shape policy, drive change, and keep governments in check. <laughs> governments operate under intense pressures to deliver immediate results while pursuing sustainable development, which demands long-term integrated strategies. We recognize the non-state sector as vital for inclusive growth and sustainable development. Your role in championing policies that address the special needs of multiple and diverse constituencies, fostering change, ensuring social justice, advocating for protection